Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Nimesema zote kulingana na mwenye atakuwa naona ataona saa ngapi. Thank you so much for coming through uh, to this uh, press uh, I call it briefing. This is the online uh, fraternity media. Mmeshanyang'anya mainstream kazi. Kazi nzuri sana mnafanya. Thank you so much for coming through. Uh, maybe for the concerns that you had about my upcoming uh, biggest stand-up comedy special ever to happen in this country, uh, which is the Tricky Comedy Circuit. I'm so much excited about that. And uh, at this point, I welcome all the questions and reactions uh, pertaining to that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Tricky, for giving us this chance. You're welcome. At least you uh, share story and everything. Now, uh, yes. it's about the show you're having on that first. Yes. And uh, so many people have heard the shows. Maybe Utweleze Kidogo. What are you going to do? Something different. Ama something unique. Kwa shows zako. Because we've had the same, same things. Zime kwa ziki happen kwa these shows. A Tricky Comedy Circuit is an event which uh, inataka ku separate boys from, from men in the comedy uh, industry. Nataka kuonyesha wase how serious comedy should be taken. Because of late, to tumekosa kuonyesha yo seriousness. Stand-up comedy is a whole collection of art. Yenye inafaa kwa image simamia yenyewe. Yenye inafaa ipake jiwe in the right way na iuzwe na itulete um, revenue. That culture haijakuwa sana hapa Kenya. Let me explain it. Uh, the only thing which has happened in this country as, as, as far as comedy is concerned ni Churchill Show. The only serious thing. Churchill Show, I will call it an experience, an event. More of an event because it's a collection of uh, what we call short uh, performances on stage, a lineup of around 20 comedians, kuna kuanga na interviews whereby Churchill hosts uh, public figures on stage, bado kuna musicians wanakuja kuperform. So Churchill show is not, it's not just a comedy show. That's why anaisemanga more than just comedy. But now, hakuna mtu mwenye amefanya stand-up comedy peke yake exclusively, where people come and enjoy and have the vibe of stand-up comedy peke yake. Tuna check up for, for three, four hours. Mfululizo, bila mbwembwe zingine za hapa kando. And uh, I think that is the reason as to why audience yetu kidogo ina kwanga confused because ina expect to kiita comedy show bado to na musician hapa. Melewa? So what I'm trying to do is that I want to create the first stand-up comedy special in this country, hapa Nairobi, do tuanze ku create your culture. Why the culture is important is because inasaidia ku build individual brands. For example, it's MCA Tricky. You, we want to start that culture of MCA Tricky. Can uh, anaeza invite audience. Ikuje, iketi chini for two hours. Ni wachekeshe na to bond na ni guro kama MCA Tricky. Mimi independently as one brand. Note that when you hear of a comedy show, lazima upate, upate line up ya wasani 20. Ndiyo watu wakuje. And that is the difference between us, Kenyans or else the Kenyan fraternity, in, uh, the Kenyan community, na outside Kenya. If you look at the other countries, that's how they, they start. People like uh, Basket Mouth, people like Akina Daliso, that's how they start. Wakianza wanaanza nga kama msia na jiguro yeye mwenyewe kama brand. And that's why unapatanga Basket akisema tupatana ya fulani, watu wanakuja, because they are already used. Hapa Kenya ni ngumu. They want to see a list for them to believe that it's, it's, it's really happening. So your culture, it's a new venture that I want to do, that we will be doing comedy specials in this country. Mm -hmm. So yes. what should uh, maybe people, or rather your fans or your audience expect? The, sure. Oh my goodness, my fans and audience should expect a different taste of uh, comedy from what they are used uh, to. If you look at Tricky Comedy Circuit, ni may invite, sijataka sana kuwak na comedians wa hapa because uh, I didn't want to replicate Churchill Show. Sikuwa nataka ni ite line up to ile ya Churchill, ni walete hapa. Ita, ni Churchill Show yo. So I wanted them to have a taste of what is happening outside. Mm -hmm. That's why I have uh, invited comedians from, uh, a comedian from Nigeria, ni kona representative from Sudan, South Sudan, ni kona wa Uganda, ni kona wa Tanzania. Because I want them to come and sit down and feel 
where comedy is from outside this country. Mm -hmm. waone, waone mali comedy hapo. So they will have a different taste mm -hmm. or else we will serve them a different taste from what they have been used to around. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course that forms my next question because wakati uliweka ile line pale hivyo kwenye mitandao zako watu walikuwa wanasema kwamba because you have always seen Eric Mundi fighting for Kenya Kenyans first na pia watu wanasema kwamba you are not supporting our very own. Maybe sijui kama umeona his complaints watu wanasema you should have had more of Kenyans. Thank you so much. I think what is happening now eh sasa Eric atuachie stand up comedy. He is doing so well in this activism. Uh, in it uh, Activism, activism. <laughs> He's doing so well. Hey, a very good job. Na mpigia makofi sana. Sasa ju, ni kama amefika mahali akaona ah, amefanya hii comedy for long, anafaa ende asaidia uko kando, which is very good. Mm -hmm. Sasa ni wakati wetu kila mtu a concentrate na strength yake. Mm -hmm. Let Eric handle the activism, wacha ende atetee watu unga ishuke chini. Hapa kando, unga ikiendelea kushuka, wacha MC Tiki akuje sasa awachekeshe. Don't you think uko biased sana kuweka shows na ukose kuweka even one of the comedian from Kenya? Like seriously, no, nimeweka, nimeweka. I have considered all that. When I was coming up with the lineup, I didn't want really to have a Kenyan comedian. Why? Because muna pata nanga na sisi pale chachili show kama Kenyan comedian. Why should I again repeat the same lineup? Watu si watasema, si chungoje basi chachili show. But just to have that, of course lazima ninge kuwa na a brand na mwenye nimeweka pale kwa poster ni Mitch. Naye Mitch ni kwa sababu I am the one who, are, who have seen Mitch from scratch. Na nime grow na ye. So nataka kumpea hii platform. Ndio at least pia ye, I feel home. So Mitch will be represented in Kenya. Then pia nikacheki hivi nikaangalia in my lineup lazima pia ni kuwe na dem. Siwezi kuwa na wanaume tu peke yake kwa lineup mzima. Nikaangalia hivi I have settled for Nasra for a reason that I won't tell you. Yeah. But let me yeah. uh, let me ask you this question. <laughs> yes. I saw people uh, walikuwa well, wanauliza mbona haukuweka demo wa Facebook. Have this lady demo. anaitwa demo wa Facebook. She, she has a good talent anafanya mm. kazi poa and people are requesting if you can consider mm. at least umweke kwa list. Hata kama watafika basi mademo wawili. I don't know if you'll consider that. Thank you so much. So tulipokuwa tunaanza hii press mliniuliza swali. Yes. What what do I want to give people? Yes. Isi show niliamka tu nikaamua acha nifanye tu show. Mm. There's some specific objective that I want to achieve. Na hiyo specific objectives iko na specifications zake. And some of the specifications ni decisions kama za nani anafaa perform na nani anafaa ku perform. So at that point tuta agree tutafanya na wale wenye nimeweka for a reason. Yes. Na pingine unaweza katujuza uh, how many people uh, are you targeting? For example tuliona Time Eric Komondi alisema anataka kujaza kasarani na hii sehemu ambayo unataka kujaza unataka kuingiza watu wangapi? Na pingine watu ambao pia hawatakuwa able kufika watapata uh, streaming avenue yoyote ya kuweza kutazama live. Oh, very good question. Uh, every brand has its own way to reach its audience and uh, its own goals. A tricky comedy circuit is not a is not a hype event. It's not a, a hype. I mean, it's not a mwembe thing that I want to show people I can feel a, 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 a stadium or anything. A tricky comedy circuit is a is a very well packaged kind of event that I want to produce it with different levels. That now after producing it, to nezauzia the outside world na waone what we do as Kenyans when it comes to comedy. So, my target here, paka hata na shangani tawaeka wapi, my auditorium hapa na Nairobi Cinema can only hold 850. But the, by at the rate at which the ticket is naenda, na shangani wakipita tutafukifanya nini, but tutaona. By the, by the last week, utakua tumesha uza tiko zote. Alafu ticket ni how much? Ticket ni 1,000 for regular, 2,500 for VIP. But regulars imeenda mingi. We, VIP, wakiwa Kenya wapendi hizo story za VIP but it's okay it's understandable so ali hiyo auditorium itakuimeja of course 850 and that will be enough for me for the production you, you also uh, uh, note that ukitaka ku produce show vizuri pia ufai kuwa na nikipata audience ya 4000 people i won't be able to manage them for the production lazima ni kuwe na crowd yenye naweza control and that's one of the reasons why i chose Nairobi cinema kama venue Yes. Hey, MC Tiki pia was among the first uh, comedians ambao tushai kuona akifanya uh, a one man show the, uh, the first show ambao ulifanya ilikuwa inaitwa Tricky 
sana and of course nataka kujua because tumeona Butita ameenda amezunguka South Africa are you looking also at doing something like a world tour in in the future yako peke yako one man show a very good question a tricky comedy circuit it happen in Nairobi cinema peke yake if you look at the guys i've invited over they are representing countries in east and central africa mm -hmm. so it's a whole team that we are working together um after we do a tricky comedy circuit in Nairobi immediately from april i will be doing my first uh, designated uh, tour Uganda where i will be hosted by dr hillary mwenye anakuja pia huku after that uh, comedian phronesis from nigeria will be hosting us in nigeria and that will be the cycle so i have a lineup of uh, i can call it a world tour after the first episode mm -hmm. yes okay. Uh, pingine pia swali lingine ambalo ningependa kufahamu imekuwa ni muda sana tumemwona Triki ameingia sana kwenye kazi and that is comedy radio atujaona more of your personal life ni kwa nini pingine <laughs> personal life <laughs> very interesting every brand inakwangana inakwanga na vitu inakaaga chini inasema i want to achieve this for me i have my own goals for my brand and uh, i think whatever i am doing is already enough to add another issue i do radio every day i am doing online content every day and i am also in school so nikianza kuongeza usocialite nitakuwa nime overfeed you understand those brands that you are seeing there zenye zime introduce hiyo kitu nimeita socialite it's because they are not that busy I'm too busy to start introducing my personal life. Niko shule naenda radio tena na create online content tena baadaye mnaniona na baby wangu nimemshika hivi tunakula chipo no no. I have no that time. And again as a brand I know what I want to achieve. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding that your your publicity your personal life yangu because I know uh, it's very it's a very volatile zone. I know it. Yes. So are you single or am utatwambia? I am dating Uh, I'm dating a very beautiful girl. <laughs> and hiyo uh, siku ya show mtamuona. Si sita muintroduce but mtamuona. Ah, Ule msichana atakuwa anasikia sikia vibaya mkinishika shika. Huyo ndio mtafute sasa mtamuona. And like uh, crowd. Eh? Like a crowd. Hata behind the scenes, behind the scenes mtamuona. Yes. Yeah, kuuliza because for the longest time tumeju, tumeona MC Tricky, Akotheru, Baby they were very close lakini siku hizi kama ule ukaribu umepungua. Sijui kuna kitu kilifanyika ama kuliendaje? No, Ru is busy with her life. Of course after shule, si unamwona huko France sijui akifanya nini. I'm also busy. Uh, we are very we are still close with Ru. And in fact she will be attending the show. Akikuja hiyo siku mleta microphone mmuulize hizo maswali but she is still my very close friend. Yeah. Kuna yeah. Talking about your story yako kwenda kufanya comedy tour. Mm. What if a Kenyan comedian wants to go to tag you along kufanya the same thing? Ah, uh, Kenyan comedian twende na yeye. Yeah. Oh, ni mbebe twende na yeye tu. Akitaka. Akitaka. Yeah. Nitampea platform of course. <laughs> Siezi mnyima. Yes. No. Yes. Ah, uh, kwanza tuambie kama comedy nalipa. Kisha tuambie kuna gari ambayo bitita aliweza kununua pale worth 5 million eh. Uh, watu wanasema ni kipindi sana. Hebu tuambie kulingana na wewe unaona. Comedy nalipa sana, but inategemea venye umejiposition. Comedy nalipa. But we want to take it to a higher level. Bado watu wanadharau dharau sani. Sio comedy peke yake. Watu bado wanadharau dharau tu. But one day watakuja kuelewa hizi vitu tunafanya. Because I trust that uh, we should be getting to the levels of earning from our art at our tukiwa 50s if you look at the comedians from outside akina dave dave chapel na kina chris rock they are making money at their 50s you understand that so it all depends on umeji package ndio umeke do na nimekuja ku notice kitu pesa ya usanii ukipackage vizuri ile nzuri inakujanga at later stages wakati wenye umeshaunda brand strong hii pesa ya kwanza ni ya ni, ni moto wa karatasi ni pesa tu ile ya kukuchanganya uache. Na hapo ndio brand mingi zi umek blanda. Ukianza leo, kesho umesha kuwa celeb, umesha nunua kasubaru kakuanza, sasa ushikiki, unasahau content. Haushikiki, ukisha print hudi, meandikwa jina yako hapa. 
na uvae na unapaka una subaru mahali unasahau content unasahau kuunda jokes unasahau everything hapo ndo unaanguka and i want to keep that in mind and that's why i'm doing these things because sitaki kusahau ile kitu yenye ilinipea ikanifanya niomoke about butita jajibu ati butita unaona nini wapi gari gari ati gari hapa sasa ngapi 5 million mbona hakuna haja ukose kwenda mbinguni butita sababu ya gari tu sikaritu mbinguni hatuta tu ya gari so insha Allah maanisha si yake butita gari ya 5 million gari ya 5 million butita atagari nyote takataka kuwaka <laughs> anyway but butita is doing good okay, yeah. is but uh, so you pressure but you will get there mtu akinua gari ya 5 million you want need to ask me mtajua tu this this young man who you know Kenyans fell in love with MC Tricky yule kijana alikuwa na vama koti kwa um, mvashati ya red na kashot flani are we looking at seeing that boy perform here in the uh, kwa hii at Tricky comedy circuit because Kenyans really miss him so that that Tricky will be performing of course but not from outside yes we want to we, we are growing at least stagnate hapo melewa i know the audience ina kuangana audience always ina kuangana reaction zake na uwezi wa control you accept all of them so we have to really accept uh, growth lazima to grow ndio pia mimi niomoke munishikilie ni munipush outside Kenya nianze kupenya uh, in the other audience za nje okay tricky uh, kuna huyu msanii anaitwa Botros na Butros. yes ni zake zimeko expose na kwa comment section ilikuwa naona ukitagiwa at next zenye zinakuwa expose ni za MC Tricky kwanza niko na tatu zako kuna nuti zangu tatu hatari <laughs> zenye nataka kuwatolea pale karibu na show ndio sasa mjae hii culture ya ya ku ya ku ya audience yetu ku celebrate wakati tume trip kidogo ilitoka wapi hey but we do you know that leo hii ukaenda uka photoshop mtu anafanana na tricky nudes mahali tu unajua kuna watu wameiva photoshop na zi na ulik leo hivi people will talk about him so tricky more than more than nikiachieve kitu kingine better mkiachilia content ah hata watu wa they don't give an f about content but wewe nudi yako tu itoke ndo kido kuna tatu nimewawekea muhimu sana so mwenyewe utazitoa tu hata ngoje kutoka kwa watu mtazitoa mwenyewe za nikiwa class 7 ndio tuonge but it's, it's social media you can't control some of these things but uh, butros is a good talent bwana to see to see angalia ka kitu certainly get yeah. uh, let's support talent more than hype in wakati mtu ana trip uh, so i have two questions yes first yes. i'd like to know who is your father in the comedy industry mm. and second mm. kumekuwa na speculations that you are dating to be kitui so please address <laughs> that <laughs> wow <laughs> Trudy si bwanake anatembea naye ama we bwanake anatembea na Trudy siezi siezi date Trudy but kuna wakati tulikuwa tunakatiana hiyo ita trend so <laughs> eh, my my comedy father what do you mean by comedy father who you look up to in the comedy industry um, maybe of course i will appreciate chachi every day because uh, ye ndo alinipea hiyo hiyo kampenyo that one you cannot overlook chachi but in terms of uh, maybe to learn more about mm. uh, performance and all that i look up to several guys from outside akina john mulani from uh, chicago au ni majama wanani inspire niki watch nikiona venye wanaunda show zao i learn a lot mm. yes. and so about this tricky mm. circuit how long um, do you expect it to be mm. in afakukoya how long am i it's something that you'll be doing from time to time this tricky comedy circuit that's why it's called a circuit it's not a one event thing after this i'll do a world tour then come back with episode 2 or else season 2 of this tricky circuit probably december yes okay so tricky umekuwa in the limelight and of course you have influence and uh juzi juzi tu tuliona bien akitoa maoni yake kuhusu wa ruling ambayo ilianza kufanywa na the high court of kenya about the lgbtq community so wengi wangetaka <laughs> kujua labda msimamo wako cuz yeye alisema hana shida nayo sijui kwako wewe oh unajua nimeamkia nikaona at facebook ya sonko ime okay. imekuwa disable sababu aliongea kuhusu history mm-hmm. Hey, jamani 
Instagram. Unataka um, social media zangu ziende na hapo ndo nakulia. Hii utaweka kwa yako, utaweka kwa yetu. Ndio, mpeka kwa yetu. It's okay. So what do you want to know about Maybe you stand about that. Sababu imekosa whole debate pale hivyo online. Mm. Mm -hmm. My personal stand is that um, I can't advocate for it. That's my personal one. Mm -hmm. Ukitaka kunichukia wewe nichukie. Mm -hmm. But that is the fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so maybe to yes. a message to a message to I have one question oh. tricky for you. Yes. Now, uh, since now you are brand by yourself, yes. do you still work with Churchill ama your deal yenu na ile katika? No, Churchill akona bado Churchill show inaendelea, but for these initiatives yes nataka kumchosha tena. I am standing by my own. I have my own team. I have everything by my own. So yeah. Unajua wakati mwingine una lazima ugrow bana. Uwezi shinda umeshikilia mzazi. Yeah. Fancy, I have one last, yeah, one last question. And are there people you are mentoring in the comedy industry? And mm. come to a and they want you to be their mentor. How would they access you? Thank you so much. I, of course, if you follow me on social media, every time I'm creating content, I'm always supporting young talents. Na mnawajua. Ata Mitch is one of them, and he will be performing this day. And uh, come on, attack to join the Tricky Sun Entertainment. You are so much welcome. Ukuje to grow pamoja. Yes. Thank you sana MC Tricky. Maneno yako ya mwisho pengine kwa mashabiki wako. So I, I will start by thanking all of them of course for supporting my brand. Uh, now is the seventh year. Uh, tangu ni pop into this industry. Industry ya comedy sio mchezo. You have seen tulijoin wengi lakini I want to appreciate God that at least MC Tricky is relevant enough. Watu hawajanisahau. I want to appreciate them because they have an option of forgetting me and trashing me, but uh, they have always supported me. In when I was doing my first uh, special comedy, 2019, Walikam. By the way, if you were here, this auditorium was full. I was surprised. So I would just want to urge them once again to come through and support this thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having a very well produced show, full of content, because God willing. This will be the first stand-up comedy special to be shown in a global platform. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Asad, thank you so much.